Hey guys, welcome back to another how-to series. So today we're going to be doing a black to a candy apple red. The first thing you're going to need is a tub of bleach. I did use this whole bleach for this wig. You'll also need a 30 developer. Please do not do 40. If you are just starting off, make sure you do a 30. And so you, when you mix it, you want to mix it into like a almost soupy, but not like a soupy mixture. I know some people say that you kind of do want to do like a pancake batter, but I like to do make sure it's like really, really soupy, um, but not too soupy. So as you can see, I started off with the brush and then I was like, oh, no, nah, see, this this is not going to work with the mannequin head moving. And then it was just the brush was not coating everything. So I decided to go ahead and just do it with my hands. I feel like. When your wig is already constructed, doing it with your hands is way easier versus if you're doing it like on the counter, yes, you would use the brush. And so here I'm going ahead and I'm just like working everything in. So you want to make sure that you go ahead and comb it. This was a 10 minute video, but I was trying to shorten it because I know y'all attention span is not that long. So I just went ahead and, you know, cut off a lot of pieces. Um and shorten it but if you do know how to go ahead and bleach you can either watch this method or you can skip forward to the watercolor but when you're doing this i suggest you have like long sleeves on and i honestly suggest this might sound crazy that you have glasses on because or some type of shades because when you are combing like it was going everywhere and it at least missed my eyes about four times and so i was just like oh no i need to make like go grab my shades so i am wearing glasses on some of these uh clips especially when i am combing through the hair because it was just i mean because i was just being too rough but as you can see the hair is already starting to change like literally even though this is fast forward five minutes into the hair was changing colors and i was like in the back of my mind i was thinking oh shucks thank god i did not do 40 because we would have been sitting here with some fried ass hair but <laughs> So, um, as you can see, I'm doing the uh, top part now. I did, before I decided to go ahead and do color, I did already have bleached the knots. Um, so, I didn't show that on here because the knots were already bleached. But I know some people are going to be like, oh, well, why didn't you already start off with 613 hair? 613 hair, to me, is something that I would kind of only use in the summertime. Reason being is because it's the 613 hair is light, very light. It would give you a light color. And I did not want a light color because it is fall. Like, I didn't want to be walking around looking like Ronald McDonald when it's fall time. That I'm going to say that for the summertime. So, that is the reason why I decided to go ahead and do black hair. Because it's going to give me a darker fall color. So, here I'm just washing this out. I did go ahead and the only thing I used was my Aussie shampoo. Um, you can use a neutralizer. I didn't because I was just like, no, that shit's too expensive. And I normally don't use a neutralizer when, when I do bleach. So you can. I'm going to tell you the right thing and say you can, but I didn't. The only thing I did was just use cold water and my shampoo. And so you want to just make sure that everything is washed out, like, completely. And so here I'm going to be showing you, um, this is exactly the blind that I wanted, but I'm going to be showing you that I missed a spot. So I did go back in and touch up that little spot that I missed. That is crucial. I wanted to be lazy, but I was like, no, because I knew it was going to come out wrong. So these are the two bottles that I use. I did have a backup crimson on the side. That's why you see three bottles, but I only use one crimson and one truly red. Now, if you want to go for a bright red, then you would definitely use truly red. But if you want to go for something like this, and um, definitely use the crimson mixed in with the truly red. And so I did do a test piece, as you can see. And after that, I just threw the wig in there and was just moving it around. So I did forget one crucial step because I was in such a rush and dumb me. I did not, as you can see, my knots are red. I did not free spray the front to them. Um, to me, it doesn't even look that bad. I'm pretty sure my makeup might cover it up because I always put makeup underneath my lace. Um, I don't tint because um, to me that's just an extra step. So I do put makeup under my lace. So hopefully when I do the install that it looks okay. But right now looking at it, it would just it doesn't even look that bad. So when you wash this out, you want to do use cold water. And um, to me it's still bled. And I was just like, oh, okay, well, I mean, it's still bled. This is like the only color that really bled that bad, regardless how long I washed it. But um, I did use the Tresemme conditioner. And I let it sit for five minutes, and that was it. I mean, like, that is, I love the watercolor method. It is so, 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 so easy. And so I just washed it out and continued to wash it. 
And as you can see, this is like a really dark cherry red. And that is exactly what I was going for. And so here I'm just blow drying everything out. I um, didn't put anything on the hair. You can, um, if you decide to go ahead and bleach the hair again, I do recommend that you buy the silicone mix. Oh, this is so, so pretty. I do, <laughs> I do suggest that you buy the silicone mix and let it sit in there. But because I only bleached it once and the hair was still looking healthy and it was still very, very, very soft, I decided to go ahead and just um, let it sit in the conditioner. So here I'm doing the chasing method and I am just um, working everything through. I want to say, yes, okay, for here I did put in some serum. I did use my Fruity Sleek and Shine Serum. That is my holy grail. I've been using that for three years and counting. That is the only oil that I put on my hair. And my hair is so, so, so long. It protects through heat. It protects my hair through everything. And my hair is permed, but I am currently transitioning, you know, to natural. And so here, um, I'm just, like I said, I'm going ahead and I'm flat ironing everything through. As you can see, the color is just so pretty. It's so pretty and vibrant. Like, even though it is a dark cherry, it is just like... I was just like, I'm so glad I did not do Truly Red because to me, just rocking out there with bright hair in the in the wintertime, no, that's, I just can't do it. But <laughs> as you can tell here, I'm just working with through and through, seeing it all. The specs for this hair will be below. I will be doing an install on this hair. I know I said that in my last blue video, but because I could not fit the wig, that is why I did not do an install. So... Make sure you stay tuned for part two of this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.